I only applied to three schools. In uh, high school, I applied to UW-Madison, Notre Dame, and Harvard. Where I really wanted to go was Notre Dame, and out of the three, it was the only that I got outright denied to. I just kind of tucked the letter in the drawer next to my bed and I held on to it, just kind of as a, a motivation. I don't want that to happen again. Spent the first three semesters in Madison at uh, UW and then transferred to St. Norbert. I didn't really know much about St. Norbert before going, but it was, you know, basically the closest college to home, so that's how I picked it. And I just really found quite quickly a niche of people there that just like fostered really my love for the law from a very from the very beginning at St. Norbert, but also I just had amazing experiences. In high school, I had this idea that I had to go to this nationally recognized school. And then at Madison, I thought, this does not feel like what I was looking for. It feel kind of like a, a drop in the bucket here. So I ended up transferring to St. Norbert, and immediately I thought I felt you know, this, this fits. And then came time to apply for law schools, and a lot of the same reasons I wanted to go to Notre Dame in the first place motivated me to apply for law school and then obviously it worked out the second time around. So here we are. I always joke, and a lot of us do, that came from St. Norbert to Notre Dame, that Notre Dame is basically just St. Norbert blown up, St. Norbert 2.0. We've got a lot of the same green space. The community feels very much the same. I think both of us having a Catholic affiliation just really fosters a sense of community here that you don't otherwise always get. She's kind of the combination of the natural like, intellect, but also works harder than anybody else. Um, and I think that's kind of her reputation. Our friends joke, well, nobody can work as hard as Elizabeth does, but uh, if you're even close, you're doing all right. I plan to clerk after graduation, which basically just means that you work with judges. I'm working with two federal judges after I graduate. That's kind of an all-inclusive sense of the law, really. Um, and then after that, I'm hoping to figure out where I want to specialize. She got these uh, positions early on. Um, and she'll get to work intimately with judges on um, very high level cases. Some of those cases will go to the Supreme Court. So big cases, big level law, and then from there, any firm, any place is, is dying to hire people who have that experience. I am gonna be working for um, Godfrey and Kahn, which is a Wisconsin law firm in Milwaukee after graduation as a uh, litigation associate. The mentorship that I got at St. Norbert was far and away better than so many of my friends who went to those really big institutions. Uh, Elizabeth and I competed in mock trial in high school together and in college together. I actually coached mock trial for a local high school here. We took second in state last year, so hopefully we can win a championship while I'm here. I think the mock trial team is one of the few opportunities in college that students have to really get sort of a hands-on um, and really like tease and work out aspects of the law. You have this problem to work on, you work on it for months and then you go to competition, which I mean, just like any sports team, it just really fosters sort of that collegiality and camaraderie, just like any other team. I would say what matters the most in undergrad is that you are mentally prepared for that next step. The classes that I was able to take at St. Norbert prepared me so well for law school classes to have that preparedness and experience is worth way more, in my opinion, than some of those maybe traditional collegiate experiences that other people are looking for.